Hello and welcome to the episode 295 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. In this episode, among other things, we'll see the Beatles crossing paths again with Pete Best, George Martin being a protagonist of two studio moments, and George Harrison producing Jackie Lomax. On the 22nd of October 1960, the Beatles, in their quintet lineup featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed yet another night at the Kaiser Keller Club in Hamburg, West Germany, alternating with Rory Storm and the Hurricanes throughout the night. Another live engagement in 1961 with the Beatles, still featuring Pete Best on drums, but with Paul McCartney now on bass, performing at the Casbah Coffee Club in Liverpool. The Casbah was run by Pete's mother, Mona, who, as you will recall, played an important part in the 1961 life of the Beatles, finding them bookings and gigs. In 1962, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, played the Queen's Hall in Witness, once more sharing the bill with Lee Curtis and the All Stars, Pete Best's new band. The event was organized and promoted by Beatles manager Brian Epstein and his company, NAMS Enterprises. On the 22nd of October 1964, working between 11 a.m. and 12 noon at the EMI Studios, producer George Martin realized the mono mixdown of I Feel Fine, which was never released. The Beatles weren't present since they were in Leeds. They performed two evening concerts at the local Odeon Cinema for their ongoing British tour. One year later, in 1965, we get more studio work. Between 10.30 and 11.30 am, probably without the Beatles, George Martin recorded his idea to complete In My Life, a piano solo that would then be sped up to give it the quasi-baroque sound that one can hear in the LP track. From 2.30 to 11.30 pm, instead, after approving the work done in the morning, the Beatles remade and completed Nowhere Man, with three more takes of the rhythm tracks and vocals and electric guitar overdubs. In 1966, with John Lennon still in Carboneras, Spain, for the shooting of How I Won the War, George Harrison and his wife Patty returned to England, concluding their Indian trip, started on the 14th of September. See episode 257 for that. Before reminding you once again to support this podcast, let's wrap the episode up with two 1968 studio sessions. In the first, taking place in London, George Martin was again the focal point, with a re-recording of his orchestral score for the Yellow Submarine film. The task was completed today at the EMI Studios, with the help of the 41 members of the George Martin Orchestra. On the other side of the globe, George Harrison started working with Jackie Lomax for the singer's Apple debut, Is This What You Want? Working at the Sound Recorders Studios in Los Angeles, California, George produced the sessions, doubling up on guitars. The album also saw the participation of Joe Osborne on bass, Larry Natchel on piano and keyboards, and Hal Blaine on drums. The sessions continued until the 11th of November. As promised, this is the end of the episode. Remember to visit www.simonmas.com support to see all the things you can do to support this podcast and my other music-related content. Thank you for any help you will want to give me to grow our little community of music lovers. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.